Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here I think and I believe in episode 6 of us playing as oh no, well the Northwest National Defense Front with Mao Zedong as you obviously know by now um, I guess the enemy disseminated more plague uh, by biological weapons which kind of sucks but you know we got some comments to go through and it looks like we got some production uni units to use as well um, actually can we use more we're doing okay here you know what Don't throw on the civvies. Why not? So, um, now, I said at the end of last episode, uh, which route we were going with all this stuff and whatnot, so I thought we'd go down this one, but apparently I took this the first time I played this mod. Because this honestly looks better to me. But we're going to go with anti-military revisionism. So, there is revisionism in politics, so is there any revisionism, revisionism in the military? The answer is yes. We must be alert to the emergence of revisionist thinking in the army and be strict about the political quality of our officers and soldiers. Otherwise, we'll erode the revolutionary spirit we have inherited since <clears throat> the founding of our military and the reaction to the ideas uh, uh, will crush our army. So, kind of sucks, but for firsts. Political work is critical work. Just as Comrade Mal Zedong said, political work is a lifeline of our army. The commander-in-chief, the sole and the guarantee of all work, doing a good job depends on the leadership of the party, on political work, on a mass line, and on people's awareness. We demand and grasp the ideas below and implement their ideas above. The battle of ideas is critical. Without an excellent ideological war, we will not fight at other battles well. From Lin Biao. So, overall, not bad. Um, better military professionalism. The cost will go up, though, which sucks. But it is what it is. We get roughly one political power a day. Mm. Very nice. And we're still building uh, Hanzong, which is doing well, quite well. We might be done within 11 days, too, so that's actually really great. Seems a little laggy here. Hmm. Or maybe just normal TNO. So. Also, additionally, um, I will let you know that I did look at this last time, too. That I chose the Southwest deal the last time we did this. So we're going to go with Indicate, uh, Indicate of Kyong Zhao. Karma Zhu and Lai gave us a report on the Southeast Asia, the General Assembly of the CPGAC, which emphasized that with the string of results we have achieved in recent work, it would be feasible to resume contact with the Hainan branch, which would be good to use Hainan as a pivot point to influence the situation at Southeast Asia. The Southeast Asian issue will become the primary focus of our current diplomatic efforts, eventually. So, we begin to slowly improve. This would be pretty good to use, but I don't want any more divisions right now. We don't really need more divisions. Um, admin divisions. Cancel three for one. Well, let's get working with referring some large communes. Oh, and look at what we got here. Ah. So we got a little more political power. Cut the tail of capitalism. Mm -hmm. Increase liquid reserves. Anything down here? No. Checking in, registering household registration, clean up the ranks. Payment. So this says current policy effects haven't strengthened them. So they get more, they could be stronger in the future. More political power. Power rate gets better, increase liquid reserves. Increase inflation and growth. Oh, huh. it's not terrible. Increase inflation and growth, lose political power, gets more academic base, which is okay. Uh, more growth, increase inflation by a little bit more as well, but you lose liquid reserves and get more agriculture. Um, Honestly, right, so we're doing pretty well on GDP rate. I might do this one just a little bit, just because, even though I don't want to hurt her growth. I don't want more inflation, too. But at the same time, I do want to work on poverty. I mean, a little more political power first might be okay for us, too. So, also, like I said, we were doing, uh, invite comrades Zhu and Lai to get the latest instructions. I think that'd be for the best. So, national debt point nine. Nice. We invested that money, that negative money. Fantastic. Hmm. That's quite interesting. Um, hey, poverty, like we said, We'll slowly get a little better, so we're just trying to reduce how much how poor we are. I did compare where we were at last time, the first time I played this um, campaign, uh, and overall, we got some white tea here. But our poverty is five percent better than it was where we were roughly when I did this the first time, and we are green across the entire board, which is fan full of fantastic. Ooh, what do we have? Ooh, we have two more things to construct down here. Downtown, hospital, and school, admin office. Uh, let's go with that one. West, enter downtown, and they'll do the last one next. I think that'd be good. Five days left for 1958 infantry kit, which is good. Uh, not bad overall. Decisions are available. Ooh. What do we have around here? Southwest Bureau. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Xinjiang. So we have all this stuff. 
Um, so one of the comments says, oh, hold on. <clears throat> now that you've maxed happiness in the Xinjiang region, you can start to get the self focuses which give you more industrial expertise and such, instead of giving to the Xinjiang border region. If I remember correctly, at the bottom of the self focuses page, basically just take those decisions when it's above 90% happiness. That will increase the popular will change by 10%. Oh, oh, so you're right. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Even I wasn't aware of this. Oh, that's awesome. Agriculture, uh, this, improving lifestyle habits. So these two bottom ones are the ones we really want to do. One working ability, because this will not directly increase our so social, what is this, development? Don't get me wrong. Um, change by 10. Really like supercharge it if we can. It's gonna hurt our political power. It's gonna hurt um, our happiness here by a lot, but I'm okay with that, honestly. Better kits, why not? 0.9, nice. 0.11 is actually really good too. So it's fantastic. Nice. So we prefer the big commune. Wage system, huh? Well, we're going to cancel 3 4 one, which I read last time. So if you need this again, please go right ahead. Nice. So now we should be even more for agriculture. It's slowly improving it a lot. Uh, where is it? There it is. The Road Away, 1960, Tianxui. Ying Ying Kai, come out. Accompanied by a name calling Xiao, the heavy prison door opened in front of Ying Ying Kai. She followed the warriors, warriors back, walked through the corridor, across the patio, and then stood outside the prisoners or prison's main door. I don't know whether it was her stubbornness or her belief that she had a clear conscience, but Ying Ying Kai fought, fought the rounds of interrogation with silence and never admitted that she had committed any crimes against a party in the country. After the raid, the working group searched the clinic thoroughly but failed to find any more valuable evidence, and lost interest in this female doctor who refused to open her mouth in the winter of 1958. Ying Ying Kai. I was sent to Tianxui City Prison along with a group of political prisoners, which spent three years in reform through labor. She protected her hands in a strange way. When the other prisoners were doing heavy manual labor, Yang Yingkai would always do extra sewing instead. When she had nothing else to do, she would use her knitting needle to mark the bodies of her fellow inmates. She seemed to be convinced that one day she would be able to pick up a scalpel again, and so she never stopped practicing for a moment. Then, in anticipation and waiting, the days and nights slipped her mouth through her fingers, and before she knew it, the day of her release had come. The cold wind blew her hair and the corners of her clothes, the streets were empty, so no one was there to greet her, nor was there anyone waiting outside to spit on her. The lost freedom was returned carelessly, but the lost town was never returned. Ying Ying Kai took a deep breath of the cold air, briefly collected her thoughts, and then stepped away. She needs a new job. Don't we all, my god. Point five three. it gets even more, like, this makes, this makes sense why we do that, but, hey, it works. And if it works, it works well. You know, it works decently enough. What else can you ask for, really? Happy November 3rd, everybody. Just waiting for it to destroy all this down here. Oh, we're going to do another one here, too. So once this reaches 100%, 95.5% is pretty good. Um, we're going to switch this around. Carillion War, that's pretty normal. Uh, Chengdu, oh. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go here now. Yeah, nah, there's almost no military development here. Because I do want to show you this too. So this is not, oh, this is already on here, nice. But this one, it's at 100%. So does anything happen at 100%? No, then there's no point keeping it here. So growth rate levels of social development and healthcare consumer goods. Industrial expertise, so right now, we're looking at healthcare. It is at 6.54. You come over here, go back to healthcare, it's 6.04. Industrial expertise will go up by 1.7. So this literally has a direct effect on our social standing here, so it's very interesting to see that. Great Buddhist disaster, that's not good. So we're almost doing South Zhikang. So all these other ones don't really matter as much. But they're good to check up on and see how they're all doing, you know. You have balance and whatnot. Ah, they're happy. It's good. More cleanups. Oh, I want to wait to do that one. I don't mind getting all the way down there, but it's going to take some time. It's going to really hurt us. Power will begin to improve. That's good. Inflation will increase by 0.5%. That's not good. 
Ooh. Team settlement. Um, wage system. Poverty will slowly improve as well. I like that one. That would be very good too. One of the following. What do you do? This one, this one, this one, this one. Factory community construction. The factory yard community or urban people's commune will become an instrument for transforming the old city. In building new social city, unified organizer production, exchange, distribution, and people's welfare. And a social organization that unites the government and the community. It is organized under the leadership of the party committee, active sponsorship of the masses of workers, with the workers' families and other working people as the main body, and all others who voluntarily participate. It is centered on organizing production and simultaneously organizing various communal life, welfare, and services undertakings. It can significantly change the face of the city, especially the vast number of homemakers. And then provide PPP, PPE, for workers, labor protections, a fundamental guarantee for their health, maintenance, work, efficiency, improvement, and va labor value creation. Various labor protection measures are developed to prevent work-related accidents and various occupational diseases according to the survival and development of the local economy. Lifestyle products launch. The economic situation gradually improved and enriched a variety of urban residents' consumption and the proletariat's daily life of food and clothing. Central government decided to unblock the list of goods available on the shelves of the first state store in Baoji and the second state store in Xiangyang. Several people's favorite goods, the government, will issue shopping cards to the residents, a standard of issuance of a household one. And each household resident is allowed to send one person with a card to enter the state to store shopping according to the population ration. $945 million in debt. Oh, God. Oh, it finally happened. Our credit rating improved. Look at that. Hey, we're not so poor anymore. We're just mediocre. Guess what we got? 2.5% more stability. Better debt ceiling. Better interest rates. Uh, the effective debt on interest rates is not as bad. Hey, look at that. 0 0.06. No, we don't have as much growth. No, but still. Wow, holy shnikes. Um, I guess we can share the wealth next. Uh, so major issue. I'll be honest. These ones, I don't know what route we took for like release labor, or surplus labor to rural areas, completely outlawing personal business, accelerating rural collectivization. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of time here to figure that one out. For y'all, what are we going to do here? Makeshift healthcare. So we're, oh my god, we're at the little bit bottom. Monthly poverty rate decrease. That's terrible. It destroys our stability. We didn't at least get to rudimentary health care. It gives 50% more stability that way. Same amount of war support. Uh, plus 0 0.02 more monthly poverty rate increased, or decreased, technically. Um, yeah, that's destroying our stability. So right now, with this, 6.04. So let's choose this one. I'm not going to put that much right there, but still. So now... Transformation of public ownership is a necessary path to socialists. Completely outlawing personal business. Patriots and Democrats should be given protection. Um, after passing this act, we'll unlock admin decisions and encourage capitalists to give up dividends. After passing the locked... Uh, 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 slightly easing union policy restrictions, 50% probability the Democratic Party support this act. If this act is admitted, it increases random weight level hasn't been filled in Democratic parties. This option to spend 0.6 reserve, billion reserve on transferring independence. Transformation of public ownership is necessary path of socialism. Patriots and Democrats should be given protection. I want to see if we can do this one. So maybe we'll do this one and let the workers found it themselves, maybe? People's Republic of Mongolia, huh? Alright. Oh god. So let's take a look-see. 
This faction disagrees with it. Disagrees with it. Democratic faction disagrees with it. Everyone disagrees with it. So over here. Elevate this faction to a level of positive comes from CPC. So what can we do with this? So extend it. Voting immediately. Probably don't want that. The director. Oh, well, I'm kind of messing around to see what we can do here anyway, so. Temporary elevated faction. What is this? Current, oh, current rate of support. That's 33%. 33%. Is that interesting? So you might not be able to do this. Very interesting, so. We'll see if we can do agree to a workers found their own organization. We might do Patriots and Democrats should be given protection, because I'm going to mess around with this just a little bit. Um, so there's that. And, and then we'll end the three major differences. Sherman Mao believed. That in the social society, after the social transformation, we completed the ownership of the means of production. We must highlight proletarian politics. A new relationship between people and production and labor must be gradually established and developed. We must eliminate the differences between workers and peasants, between urban and rural areas, and between mental and physical work before we can finally complete the construction of socialism, prevent the restoration of capitalism, and lay the foundation of power for the liberation of the whole country. The road away in 1955 during the period of aid Han Zong Jian. The office was surprisingly quiet, and only the rustling sound of Zhu Lin flipping the copy paper could be heard. Thick as a mound of documents, a large part of the 57 years of political censorship information and reports during the prison sentence, Zhu Lin did not read it and also not want to read. He skipped page after page and finally only the last piece of the paper remaining in his hand. It was the relevant materials from after 1961. Those records didn't even fill up a 16-page sheet of paper. They simply showed that after his release from prison, Yang Yingkai participated in the battle against Qinghai as an emergency surgeon recruited by the PLA Studio First Hospital and did his best to save the lives of several battalion, regiment, cadres, and above, despite the imperfect condition. Didn't she get a job? After a long silence, Zadine spoke up. She received a merit in 61 and was later promoted by the 301st Hospital to become the Deputy Chief of Surgery, but she was never approved to join the party. Her medical skills aren't bad, and she can even be said to be the best surgeon in the 301st Hospital, but she was never made Chief Physician. You should also understand why we can't let her go to Hanzong now. Zhu Lin, let a long sigh, stood up and put the strained out yards of paperwork back where they belong. He didn't know how he should feel. Was he qualified to comment on Yang Yin Kai's life? Should he feel pity? Should he feel, be angry? Or should he be as indifferent as others? Zhu Lin always had a feeling. Uh, her life can never be described as by a few sheets of paper. Perhaps he will see her somewhere in the future. But now, Han Zong is more important. Also, we currently have the current support for the major issue. A completely outlawing personal business. Agreed to the workers founding their own organization. We got 53.6% support. Uh, but it did cost us um, something here. Gossip is our director, or, or, or secretary, or director, so, it is what it is, he's incapac incapacitated right now, so we're going to end the three major differences, should be great. Major issue, huh? So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this one first, I don't know, hmm. To get through this as fast as possible. The problems to be solved by launching a socialist education campaign in the country style was divided into two main areas. One is to investigate and solve the new difficulties that have arisen after the completion of the agricultural collectivization, according to the coexistence between communes and the economic problems that have occurred within the communes, to clean up the various accounts since the establishment of the people's communes, and settle the old versions, establish new ones. The other one is to focus on this movement, clearing politics, the economy, organization, and thought, class struggle, grasp of the spirit, to counter revision. Counter and prevent counter-revolutionary usurpation of power, we should implement a long-term extensive and far-reaching campaign in rural areas to liquidate all kinds of reactionary tendencies arising from the three years of economic difficulties. Things to do. At this point, I think we're, we're pretty good on stability. Or stability? Well, yeah, we're okay on stability. We use more, uh, stability, but it's okay. It's alright. Hey, party members. It's only risen up since we've been here. Budget's been up and down, up and then down. It's not a well, kind of roller coaster or something here. Ah. So now we got all this stuff. Um, do we have to select a major issue right now? There are major ones. Um, 
I haven't done yet. So after this one, you know what? We'll probably do the four cleanups and then we'll do that one, maybe. Because this was really good. Her one level, a party level slowly begin to improve, which is good. Because one more level hurt of the Great Leap Forward. And the resolution on industrial reform will be added to the miscellaneous laws. We're going to still have a lot of stuff to do here as well, but it, it's going to take time. 185 days left. Not bad. It's February 8th. Ooh. Hurt us by 0.8. But that gives us more yearly deficit, or less yearly deficit. Inflation's down right now. It'll help prevent the the debt to GDP ratio getting too much worse. And also, I'm doing this because it helps us with our our deficit to GDP ratios below a real GDP growth rate. So if this is green, this will help us get a better credit rating eventually to get become fair, become acceptable, eventually. That's our goal here too. So there's a reason why I'm doing that. Constantly just knocking it down. So we got this one next. And then we'll do anti-corruption, maybe. Uh, is this what we want to do? Might as, might as well. Anti-corruption is an essential initiative against corrupt elements. Along with the liberalization of the economy after the Great Leap Forward, some cadres are corrupt and some are now being bribed to become accomplices of counter-revolutionaries with just three pounds of pork and a few packs of paper cigarettes, and must be dealt with severely. Anti-waste. Uh, during the Great Leap Forward, the working group went to the countryside and found that the organizers of the senior economy do not know how to run the business and waste of food and materials as well, thus aggravating the labor apportionment among the social society members, and the social government decided to put an end to this phenomenon. Anti-bureaucracy. Bureaucracy has been a persistent problem in the feudal society, even for us. It's necessary to launch an anti-bureaucracy campaign and crack down on those cadres who develop the habit of officialdom. Cool. Ah. Um, I don't know. Let's go with business. Business. So ordinary resolutions, what do we got here? Oh, so what I've chosen, a lot of these have not been strengthened, so we'll, we'll see if these effects later on. Oh, look at this one. Payment of labor protecting allowances. Oh my god. Power will get better. Growth increased by 0.2. That is very good. Um, so I've done this twice, and we might just max this out now, just to get a free hospital. Or hospital, uh, well, not free, but because it costs us money. That other one, it seems really, really good, though. Oh my god. Pay debt. Increase more. It's still okay for now. And right now, we almost still get 0.89, which is not bad. We're still walking together. We have a deficient admin system. We have dysfunctional high command. We've got fierce land reform. We've got local elections. Legacy of the Great Leap Forward still. It's got slightly better. Don't get us wrong. Uh, the bu budget balance effect is not bad. So. Thank God we Mao Zedong leading the way here, so. Happy March 1st, everybody! Just spending a few billion every once in a while. Debt to GDP ratio just skyrocketed. How fantastic. Alrighty. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Minus 0.14, that is just awesome. Four cleanups. Anti corruption. So now, launch for cleanups in rural areas. Um, because accelerating rural collectivization would be nice, but it's for cleanups. So if you want to do about up here, please go ahead. Um, if you disagree with me, I'll go to with the PLA to the mountains and start a guerrilla war. Um, uh, after passing this act, ordinary admin and resolution purging the landlord, the rich, counter revolutionaries, and bullies, it's necessary to unlock the following national focus. 33% chance that Louis fact, Liu's faction will agree with this act. If this, is, if this act is admitted, it'll decrease the random weight level that isn't the minimum value of Louis's faction. Liu's faction. The reactions are about to usurp the party and seize power. After passing this, um, it'll decrease the random weight level if it isn't, you know, isn't the minimum value of Democratic Party's infant. A lot of people out of the CPC advice for new revolutionary movements. The decrease of random ra weight level isn't the minimum value of mouths. Um, well, it seems like it's time for me to save again, because if I screw this up, which I might, and we have no director here, too, it's not good. But we'd have to choose that one immediately, of course. I wonder when the director's going to come back. I think it was three months. I think we read it earlier in this campaign. So, let's take a look see where we're at. 
70, 45, 25, 70. We're going to go with this one. 50% um, probability the Democratic Party will agree with us. Director back to work. Oh, look, there he is. The director's return to work. The secretary can resume his role in the CPGAC. Nice. Hey, welcome back, Deng Xiaoping. Well, this guy's got a lot of health, so... We have 54%. Oh, look at that. If the major issue and ordinary resolutions are being implemented at the same time, prior to be given to exped expediting the major issue. So, what immediately? Well, we did it. Really surplus labor to the real areas. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to save then. Um, that was really good for us. I mean, I guess we got it passed. We're gonna vote today. What's well, not due day yet? Doesn't matter. We're gonna vote anyways. All right. <laughs> Come on. She's a bit slow, you know. So we just can't accept mistakes of the past. Decisions cadre do farm work. The young go to rural areas will be strengthened. Other the city directly supports the rule and you are not satisfied? Intellectuals should go to the countryside for getting social experience. Long overdue to clean up these urban aristocracies. What does this one say? Liberated big old cities. Hmm. Sixty-five, huh? Any social experience? We're, we're really emphasizing the Democratic parties here, so can we do this one? Oh, that's not good. Director, is there anything you can do? That didn't help out very much, did it? Uh. Oh. I keep looking on that one. This is my point. They don't have very much weight. Independence, Democratic Party part. Increases mental stress of the Prime Minister. So basically, we can wait to do that one. Anti-corruption. Let's read about Thoughts Never End first. And then maybe we'll go back and maybe not vote on it just yet. That'd probably be for the best. Well, they're not going to bribe the election. Oh, whatever. Things happen. Mouse action's doing okay. We're two here. It's probably best to wait. And we can't do that one. We might do the independence, maybe. Thoughts Never End. Hopefully it pops up. Well, hopefully sometime. It was it raining heavily today. It's not easy to have such weather in Xi'an, usually either hot or dry or cold. It can make a middle-aged man sitting in the room feel him so much more relaxed. Someone was knocking gently on the door. The woman who was busy in the kitchen went over and opened the door. And turned out that the knocker was a young man with a little grift in his hand. Before he entered the door, the young man spoke politely. Yes, hello, aunt. The woman immediately recognized that this was her nephew, whom she had not seen for many years. The young man just entered the door and put the watermelon and pork he brought on the table and was about to ask where his uncle was when he saw the middle-aged man with a face full of vicissitudes come out of the study. The young man was so happy that he went up and hugged him. Xiao Guo, your uncle is the director of the police now. You do not need to bring things if there's anyone who created difficulties for you when you enter the city. Is there? The aunt's concern seemed a little uncomfortable for him, and Xiao Guo sat closer to his uncle and quietly said no. No. Auntie nodded reassuringly and took the watermelon and pork into the compartment. 
There are many things hidden in this room. Meat, eggs, milk, fruit, tobacco, and tea. Needless to say, there is a large and heavy wooden box as to what's in it. No one dares ask. No one can answer. The family has a secret rule that guests bring things into this compartment. Annie walked back into the living room and saw an old man and a young woman chatting in the room, so she asked, What are you talking about? There are times back then our family did not have food, so we went to my brother's family to ask for it. My brother shared the remaining rice with our family. After saying that, he also sighed. If not, we may have to starve to death that year, which we can still wait to join the Red Army. He turned to his nephew and said, Son, your father has been good, so good to me. I can't mistreat you. Today it rained so hard, so don't go back. I will write a letter to your father later saying that you stay with me first and I'll arrange a job for you. The next day, his uncle, the director, brought Guo to the Public Security Bureau and received a night patrol job. The night was silent, and Guo's room was almost the only bit of light around. He fished out a large account book from the bottom of the drawer and turned to the half back, uh, dipped it in ink, and wrote a line, Pork one tail, two watermelons, and a few cents. In contrast, the look up at the account book is much more shocking. Three tails of gold, half a caddy of lit silver, a pair of jade bracelets, sent by Director Wan, 150 kilograms of meat stamps, and 450 kilograms of grain stamps, sent by Section Chief Wang. Soon the door was smashed open, the pen in the man's hand was shaking and slid to the ground. A group of police officers rushed into the city and surrounded him with red armbands with the three etchy slogans. Director Guo immediately dizzied and fainted. Incoming judgment. And, uh, purchasing, marketing, and unification. The unified marketing and purchase are an effort by the uh, Party Central Committee to support in socialist industrial construction. Commune grain depots are required to sell surplus grain in the state of the central government's price, quantity, and variety. They can dispose of the unplanned grain by themselves. After the surrender, the state plan ration supplies. Urban residents, non-state de designated units, are prohibited from selling without a permit. Not the people anymore. Quiet night, two or three trucks carrying prisoners and soldiers drove on the dirt road. <clears throat> Rattling to the execution site. The end of this trip is not yet reached. Still, for the prisoners tied up in fives, today should be the end of their life process because they are all former. Party members who fell off the horse and lost their black hats during the three anti-revolutionary campaigns are now political prisoners carrying counter-revolutionary crimes. Wang Yao Guang, whose identity is described above, closed his eyes tightly and lowered his head. To make himself leave behind the soldiers standing in front of him and those guns in green military clothes, he decided to go and reflect on how he was sitting in the car. A week ago, he was a Hanzong City Municipal Committee member, still in this critical period of cadres. He was responsible for all the things that happened. The city met to discuss municipal construction and said a construction team funds allocated by the city. The burden of finding people fell on his head. He didn't have time to pick people to supervise the work personally, so he passed the matter to the following people to run errands, but also stuffed some hard money. The result of uh, the results of a start to dead. The foreman brought the workers' families directly to the gate of the city government with bloody clothes to ask for an explanation. He had no choice but to use a good team, good words to grind people away. Coincidentally, the signing man work also, uh, work also happened. Sand mining team in a downstream sand mining. Some people do not want the river to be occupied by a theory, and the result was a fight, a human life. What's worse is that the two things happened together. Two groups of people came to the city hall together. He was annoyed. Forced the security guards to disperse the crowd, resulting in an older man stumbling to the ground and going to heaven. Huh. Finally, they arrived at the execution site, but Wang Jiao Guang, to the world in his head, opened a hole and did not understand how they were so unlucky. The player can't see most of the game. Anti-revisionism. Uh, where do people get the correct uh, ideas from? And social practice, the three practices of social production struggle, class struggle, and scientific experiments, and many of our senior middle-level cadres have forgotten the class struggle. It's not good. Leninism and Bukharanism were two knives that could be used to fight the enemy, but the Russians have thrown away both of them, and some of them have even taken up to destroy the Soviet Union. That's a result of Bukharan's inattention to the revisionist tendencies in the party, which led to the emergence of such counter-revolutionary ambitious people such as Belisevsky and Tukhachevsky. Chairman Mao did not want the party to go about learning from such people to vilify Bukharan, but to act on the actual situation. The four cleanups level two, huh? Happy May, everybody. Finally May. Don't worry about the debt GP ratio. Uh, deficit is pretty high, but don't worry about it either. You know? Fire is looking pretty good, though. Right here. So, we promised to increase. I went with this one just because we get enough votes here. Finally, sell. Ordinary resolutions. An enhancement of the living environment near the factory. Limit landlords, the rich, and counter revolutionaries and bully. So, we have to do this one, basically. Um, the four cleanup movements will be further expanded. We are unavailable after inputting it four times. We get 0.5. More political power, they lose weekly manpower, they get lose stability, and whatnot, so. So basically we have to do it. Can we actually rush this? 
how many more days do we have for the major voting? Because honestly, the major voting doesn't matter to me too much anymore. Um, so what we're doing right now... Oh. oh okay, that's two days left. So that's fine. So we got that one done, which is good. Anti-waste, which is good. So we got to wait for that one. Um, purchasing, marketing, and, and unification. Sure. And... Yay, it's done. So now... There's one health index. How many... I'm down, how do you get health? One, every two months. Eat in the canteen, huh? I guess I used this earlier. We can't do this one right now, so. Um, Master Zhang, you come over here. Zhang Yuxing was busy working on the stove and heard someone call him. He turned his head to see the president of the commune, Chin An, calling him at the back door. So he put down his hand and let his disciple take over the cauldron. Himself a hand wash, wash wind and fire to also. President, you come to me today. What requests? You tell me I can help. Nothing. I came to ask about the community canteen food, after all. I usually only eat my loved ones cooking. I do not know if the food here is rich, tastes richly or not. Well, that was Zhang. Her President Chin asked his question, thought it was due to praise his work results, and said, President Chin, don't worry. We can eat enough rice, but every day there are some leftovers. There are leftovers, but today there's a touring group in town that took the problem of the catering waste. Chin An took a shook his head, and Zhang Jung's heart felt like he had eaten a soft hammer. Huh. Seemed like this, President Chin patted his chef with a big bladder uh -huh. <laughs> and a thick neck and taught him, You dump the reason leftovers into the vegetable garden first. It's not a difficult problem, but the food can't be wasted either. How about this? Today's reception meal is to eat in the lobby. Make a meal of our four dishes, and one soup is fine after this arrangement of food. Once you heard of the solution, Master Zhang also began to help President Chin think about the problem. Then you said that the ingredient procurement cost you according to the standard of four dishes and one soup. It's certainly not spending so much than this extra money. Oh, that's something you don't have to worry about. I think everyone in the cafeteria is not easy. This money will go into inform the count of to subsidize you. I'm afraid certain cottages and model workers feel better or not enough. When the time comes and people have a need, the small chef will be tired and make an extra plate, that is all. Zhang even agreed. Zhang Zhuqing thought that this matter had been agreed to go back to the back kitchen to do, but Chinan pulled in, but also to his pocket stuff four cigarettes, and he had to pour the leftovers clean with a soil covered porcelain and then wash a bucket clean some. By the way, you also have to give me four bottles of wine produced years ago. This kind of meal must be wine. I also have to go to the labor point. The community members must speak clearly, so as not to reduce the meal of this thing to blame on you. Today, you also worked hard. It's all right. I'm thrifty and hardworking and following the party central committee. Cool. 95 days left. Nice. Man, we're just racking up crap tonight, aren't we? Let's go with uh, industrial focus, shall we? Team settlement. Currently, the ownership system of the People's Commune, in addition to the part directly owned by the Commune, also includes the ownership system, production brigades, and teams. As the ownership system, production teams, in some places, production brigades, roughly equivalent to the former senior agriculture production cooperatives, changing from basically production brigade ownership to communal ownership, as Chairman Mao pointed out, requires more robust economics than the Commune and a roughly balanced level of economic development of the various production brigades, which requires a development process. You have all this stuff here, too. Add a completed national focus industrial uh, uh, collectivization uniform production standard. Elected ad admin issue decisions production union. Huh? Transformation of the public economy for the base has broken the industrial barriers. Feature bottom may have to oversee dozens of hundreds of enterprises. To produce together the degree of socialization of production. It's getting higher and higher. The technical requirements are more and more complex. The production collaboration will become more extensive. Therefore, production standardization, standardization of social of production activities, and the adoption of unified scientific and rigorous production guidelines are rare. Fair. Rare? Huh. Happy uh, June, everybody. Alright, alright, alright.
Raising food requisition targets. Uh, the wool comes from the sheep. If you want to knit wool and, wool and clothes, you do what? Help some comrades can recognize the current situation. Right, maybe we'll go with that one, but let's see. Let's save first. We lost two production units, which is not good. Our desk getting pretty high, though. I don't like that. All right, looking pretty good. All right, we voted immediately. Yay! So here's this one. If you don't know about this one up here, you know. At least surplus labor earlier. We can't make up the mistakes of the past. The city directly supports the rural, and you're not satisfied. And actually, just go to the country, start getting social experience. Long overdue to clean these urban aristocracies. So you have two hearts, which is good. Right now we're still building up roads. Nice. Seven percent growth, seven seven percent debt GP ratio is not great. But we're getting there, we're halfway. That's good. Inflation's getting lower. And we can focus on somewhere else. Uh, Jean, why not? Looking decent down here. It's looking pretty good as well. Finally, 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 finally. We'll go to Xinjiang. Um, Fairway Falls. Can extreme mobs? Sure, why not? Might as well, right? I'm just waiting for this one. Um, ordinary resolutions. When are we going to get that one done? Because we need that one done ASAP. Ten days. That's good. Happy July. We're beelining to this now. I'm sure we're, I'm not sure we're supposed to or not, but still. Stability is not great. Well, at least we get more stability, in, or more political power, I should say, in the end. Before clean this be further expanded, which would be nice. Um, where do people get the correct ideas from? In social practice, three practices of social production struggle. Class struggle and a scientific experiment. And many of our senior and middle-level cottages have forgotten this class struggle. It's not good. Leninism and Bukharanism were two knives that could have been used to fight the enemy, but the Russians have thrown away both. And some of them have even taken up, of course, uh, then destroy the Soviet Union. I read this one earlier. My god, I'm getting tired. Yeah. So. I think I read this one too, so if you read this one again, please go ahead too. So. Nice. So let's focus on this other one here. Can we do anything to do well here? And... We'll see. Surprise! After the Hanzong campus of Shangxi Normal University was officially open, staff and students from all over the world gradually gathered. Xiao Jun, a literature lecturer, transferred from Xi'an and Yang Tai, a secretary of the College of Literature, was arranged to live in the same staff room. Mr. Xiao, the organization arranged for me to live with you, and I believe you understand the intention. As secretary of our college, I have to keep an eye on you at all times, of course. There are some academic issues that I have to ask for your advice, and hopefully I can make progress with you. Xiao Jun sarcastically shook hands with the other party and called out Secretary Yang without saying much more. 
The initial unfamiliarity made each of them maintain some restraint and try not to add trouble to each other's works. After a day of work, they would eat together in the evening and go for a walk together downstairs, but after a month, Ying Tai and Xiao Jun's relationship remained the same and their feelings did not improve half a point. Xiao Jun could not get along with this petty bureaucrat because of the various criticisms he had been subjected to. He felt that he was despised by the organization, and he felt that this was a spy planet on his side. Therefore, whatever Ying Tai did, Xiao Jun would deliberately keep his distance from him. Whenever someone from the family came to Yang Tai to talk about work, regardless of the identity of the visitor, whether those good or bad intentions, Xiao Jun would always run back to his bedroom in a flash and close the door to avoid him. As for Xiao Jun's own life, he did not let Yang Tai know, all, know at all. He was in a steady pen walking nonstop as long as Yang Tai walked in immediately closing the pages of the book with an imperceptible alert eye sweep, insisted that Yang Tai invited to the study outside to talk about things. Let's read even more Xiao Jun's forbidden thing. On one occasion, Xiao Jun went home early from school because he had a few classes that day, while Yang Tai worked overtime till late in the evening helping Xiao Jun retrieve a letter that he had an attempt to pick up from the communications room when he left school. When he returned home, Xiao Jun saw the envelope in Yang Tai's hand at first glance. His face was instantly furious, and he grabbed with his hands and questioned Yang Tai if he had picked, picked it at all. After double checking to make sure it was all right, he left Yang Tai hanging, rushed it into the study, and locked the door. Maybe Xiao Jun. <clears throat> When we walked out of the city again, we'll be embarrassed to apologize to the Yang Tai for his recklessness and impulsiveness. But if there's the next time, Zeng will still erupt and repeat the same scene as usual. However, some of Xiao Jun's doubts were correct. Yang Tai was indeed assigned to observe Xiao Jun's movement at all times and report back to the organization on time. Xiao Jun used strict defense to block various ways to latch onto the relationship. And on this month's report, Yang Tai wrote this comment to Xiao Jun. He's a wolf who only knows how to defend himself excessively and forgets how to get along with people. Will it be better? Perhaps. Oh, look at this. Ah, we've got two more areas to construct. Downtown. Military base, admin office, stability. Ah, let's go south of downtown. And we're doing uh, this one right here. Oh, of course, I think I read it for first earlier, too. Um, we're just kind of waiting to get these cleanups done because it's taking forever to get there. But I guess, well, grain and mandatory standards. That's going to destroy our inflation. The common collective lay has laid a solid foundation for the steady improvement of total grain production capacity, which is strongly support the supply of agricultural products in the base area and the plains. The average acre is yield is striving to reach 100 kilograms. In the mountains, it seeks to get 35 to 50 kilograms. The proportion of wheat, millet, sorghum, etc., and grain production needs to be increased, and the absolute number of corn production, except in areas where cultivation is excessively concentrated. Oh boy, what the heck. Um, generally should not be reduced, and also be prepared, prepared to plant some potato crops when necessary. Agricultural subsidies. Oh, look at that. Probably really get better, as well as agricultural societal development. That's like money, though. The central government currently does not object to the commune planning of the crops outside the guaranteed completion of the grain production programs to improve the livelihood of the commune members. At the same time, the central government encourages communes to explore side businesses, including forestry, baths, orchards, uh, livestock farms, etc., making these enterprises an essential source of expanding uh, communal accumulation for cultural and welfare projects such as commune-run schools and hospitals. And then we have factories demand. Every month, representatives of state-run factories go to the countryside and hold exchange meetings with representatives of commune members. Their own demand is to each other and engaging in direct material exchange. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue making uh, our part of China a little bit uh, just better overall. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.